my equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I have a super fun video. I'm going to show you how I made these stall signs using basically just one thing that I got at the dollar store. And I was able to make these three signs for a dollar. So first, these are the signs that I got at the dollar store. So there's three separate blanks, like I like to call them, that I can use to make signs with. And the first thing I did was disconnect the signs and make them just one piece each. And I took the ribbon off the back and the staples actually came out really easily. And with the little random staple, I was able to remove it just with a butter knife. And these are the little signs all on their own. And what I did was went out in the garage and I took some really fine sandpaper and I just sanded over the surface of the signs because they had a little bit of glitter on them and I wanted to just kind of rough it up. So I just used my orbital sander and just kind of smoothed out the front of the signs. And this is why I used a really ultra fine grit sandpaper so that it wouldn't like destroy the wood. And then I drilled a couple of holes because this will make it easier for the signs to be hung up. probably should have drilled the holes first because then I took my sander again and just sanded off any of the edges around the little holes on the side. Okay, then it was time to get to work and I used some chalk paint that I got at Walmart and I just painted the signs with the chalk paint. I actually ended up doing two coats of the paint just to make sure that it was completely covered and had a really nice base. And when you're painting signs like this, it's really important to make sure you get the edges too, especially if these signs are gonna be hanging up in front of your horse's stall because you wanna protect it as much as you can so the chalk paint will give it a layer of protection and then we'll coat it with a sealer later on too. And I'm just painting, painting, painting my signs with the chalk paint. I'm a very messy painter. This is what happens to my hands every time I paint. And next I found some little horse charms because I thought it would be fun to add an embellishment to the signs. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna get them apart, but I just used my little nipper that I use for so many different arts and crafts. And I just separated the two pieces because this was like a folding charm. And by clipping off the top and the bottom where they connected, then I actually ended up having two charms. See, two horse charms. And then I couldn't decide how I wanted the charms to go. And I was just playing around, putting the different charms on the signs and wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out, but at least I had some options. And once my blank signs were dry, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to freehand the horses' names or if I wanted to use my Cricut machine. And I haven't done a freehand one in a long time, and I thought that would look kind of authentic, so I decided to freehand it. I took a Sharpie marker and just wrote the names on each of the individual signs. Then I used a couple of different colors of paint 
to paint the names. The first paint that I used is a metallic copper and I'm using that as a background, kind of like a shadow effect for my lettering. And then I took some black paint and just kind of went over the previous paint, but I wanted to make sure to leave some of that copper showing because again, it's just gonna act like a shadow, just to give a little bit of dimension to the letters. It's not as fancy as a lot of the different fonts that are out there, but this was just a fast project that I wanted to do. And I wanted to do it as quickly as possible. And for me, this just worked. But if you have a Cricut machine, you could do your letters or if you wanted to use a stencil or you know, find a fancy font, you could do that too. And once the second coat of paint had dried, I took a little bit more of the chalk paint and I just kind of added a little bit of, I guess, shadow or shading, highlights, whatever you want to call it, to the letters. And since I was making these for my friend, she actually has more of a Western theme in her barn. So I wanted to make these stall signs look a little aged. So I took some dark wax and I just kind of brushed it over the stall signs. Now, the one that I'm doing right now, Mavi's sign, this was my first attempt. So I was a little timid and I wasn't quite sure how the dark wax was gonna work. So it's easier if you go a little bit lighter because you can always add more wax. Once I had some wax on it, then I just kind of wiped it off. And then decided to add a little bit more to give it some more depth and make it look more like aged wood. And the firmer you press when you're wiping off the wax, the deeper it kind of embeds it and spreads it out against your project. And you can see with the Oki sign, I was getting a little bit more courageous, put a little bit more wax on it. and then just added a little bit more to give it some more wood look. And as long as your letters are dry on the sign, you don't have to worry that it's going to interfere with your lettering. And by the time I got to Teddy's sign, I was like, I can do this, this is gonna be so easy. And I was much more confident in my ability to spread out the wax onto the sign itself. Thank you. 
and I was almost finished with the signs and then I just wanted to add a little bit of an embellishment so I took some little horse charms like I showed you earlier these are a little bit different and I just glued them on using my hot glue gun and this is a high temperature glue gun and I was using Gorilla Glue glue sticks to really help keep those little charms in place on the signs. And the final step for the stall signs is to seal them. This is called Triple Thick. It's by Deco Art. It's Triple Thick Glaze. And it's a really great sealer that I've used in the past on stall signs that I've made that actually are outside. And it really stands up to the elements and it has a really nice high gloss finish, which really helps the stall signs to stay nice and shiny. And it protects them against the elements. So if you're making stall signs for your barn, this should protect them very well. These are the signs all done. There's Teddy's. There's Okie's. And one for Mavi too. And these aren't my horses, but they're my friend Linda's horses. And I did this as a surprise for her. And when she came over to my house to pick me up to go to the horse show, I had to show her her beautiful stall signs that I made. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other product reviews and DIY videos so you can be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.